Everyone knows that they should pair wine with food when entertaining for the holidays, but choosing the right water is just as important to consider in the context of how it pairs with food and cocktails. Martin Rees, a true expert on water and America's only water sommelier, joins us with some advice. Good morning, Martin. Good morning, Alex. It's nice to have you on. So let's start off very basic. Why uh, do different types of water taste so differently? It's kind of an interesting question. So all spring or um, bottled waters coming from the same source. It's rainwater at one point, it drips on the different layers around the globe, and the different layers have different mineral levels. You can actually taste the reality of that water from the region where it's coming from. And you can measure them by TDS, that stands for Total Dissolved Solids, how many minerals are actually combined in our water. And you can literally taste if this water is more like on the fruitier side or more like on the saltier side, or it can be bitter or metallic or smooth. It's really, really interesting what you can detect in a glass of water. Yes, I love that. There's a whole science to it. So how do we decide which ones pair best with different kinds of food and cocktails? Right here, for example, I have some holiday dishes for you prepared. And when we think about beautiful holiday cookies, well, which are a little bit on the sweeter side, think about sweetiness. Look for water what's a little bit on the sweeter side as well. And I brought some Fiji water with me today, who is like very smooth and very sweet on the, on the flavor profile. And I think they're matching perfectly together. By cocktails, it always depends what you want to do. Maybe you want to have some fizz in the cocktail, so choose a nice mineral water with a little bit on the saltier side, maybe, um, to give a little kick to the cocktail and have some carbonation level in it. It really depends what you want to do and what kind of lifestyle you care for. And so what are really the big differences? You mentioned carbonation. What are the big differences besides that uh, between bottled water, tap water, and sparkling water? So even by bottled water already, there are two big differences because we all know purified water and then there's spring and mineral water. Purified water on the one hand is actually nothing else than your municipal sourced water like tap water. They're filtering everything out of there, adding some mineral spec to it and then selling it for a high price. In my opinion, it's not the way to go. I love the taste of nature. So I'm always looking for spring or sparkling water, um, what is based by the nature. And this is for me the way to go because I want to detect the different flavors what Mother Nature gives me. So that's really cool. Tap water on the other hand, we all know municipal source as well and this can range as well from a very very nice and tasty tap water to be a very very hard and really not really well likely tap water because I'm living in Los Angeles and we have a lot of sun over there and not really a lot of rain so our tap water they have to make sure it's safe they have to chlorinate it and this chlorine taste really drives me a little bit off so i'm not really like to pair my tap water with some dishes i'm using bottled water when it comes to pairing smart and you know what there really is something to be said about fiji water and the mouth feel and the taste you know you don't really get that chlorine like you said like the from you get, that you get from the tap water uh now obviously the holidays we're going to go to parties we're going to drink a little bit so how much water should we be taking in as we're taking in cocktails and wine so my ground rule is always one glass of wine equals one glass of water because then you are nicely hydrated and the next day, trust me, you will thank God that you did this. Smart. Yeah, definitely. It'll, it'll hydrate you. You'll sleep better, I think. And like you said, you'll wake up not feeling like, uh, you know, complete holiday death. Now, Martin, where can we go and get more information about all these uh, delicious uh, waters and also about the different tips? So just go on my homepage, martin or just uh, Google Water Sommelier and you will find a lot of funny videos about myself, what I'm doing with different waters and how to pair waters and to hydrate Americans. All right, the world's only water sommelier. Martin, thank you so much for being on with us today. Thank you, Alex. All right, now stay where you are. The Morning Blend will be back with a whole lot more.